And uh, Drew Walsh, I, you know, play with saying your own name. Um, well, this is Domain to Profit. If you are joining us on Restream, welcome. Uh, live is the way to watch Domain to Profit. Because uh, it's not really watching, hopefully it's participating. We get together, together as a community, and we get to look through expiring domain names. Some are good, some are bad. Either way, we're together doing something we enjoy doing, which is looking for opportunities in the form of expiring domain names. And today we're going to put a little emphasis on the drop on domain names that are being deleted and you can, well, we can put a back order on them and these services out there will go and try to get the domain name right at the instant the domain name is deleted. So uh, we're gonna look at that a little bit today as well as we'll, we'll, we'll check out some expiring domain names too. It'll be a good time. And we'll of course look through these domains and some of them, we're gonna talk about businesses that we could put on them. Maybe it's a good business. Maybe it's a complete garbage business. Maybe we'll just make some stuff up and see if it's any good. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, makes sense. Well, make sure you say hi when you get into the chat. Uh, let us know you're here. Let us know what you're up to. Uh, and actually, let me know if you have a drop service that you use. I have a few of them that I'm going to share. Drop service being the place that you go for the back order that tries to get that domain name when it's deleted. Let us know that in the chat. We're going to be talking about it on the other side. I'm Drew Wash. This is Domain to Profit. See you in a moment. From Domain to Profit, Domain to Profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from Domain to Profit. We'll show you how. Domain to Profit, from Domain to Profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. Okay. Hey, it's nice to see you, Lee. It's been a while. Uh, see you popping in here, which it is nice to uh, have you back. Uh, always, always nice to have such an experienced guy around. Uh, let's do this indeed. Uh, let me see. I, there's some new stuff popping up on my screen that I've not seen in a while. Hey, Fred, how's it going? Uh, including a stream elements bot. Okay. I guess that's a thing. Uh, Pixelworks, nice to have you. Hey, didn't we just see a domain name called Pixelworks? Or or am I just losing my mind? So is that is that you like, are you flexing your domain name right there? <laughs> and uh, yeah, awesome. Nice seeing everybody pop in. And uh, Patriot MAGA, I feel like I just gave some advertising. But hey, how's it going? Nice to see everybody. Thank you for joining in. Uh, we are going to be looking through some expiring domain names. I told everybody upstairs that I'm going to make this like a five hour stream because to be quite honest, I got a lot of really hard work to do after this that I'm not really uh, looking forward to doing, but I'm just kidding. It's going to be the normal hour, but you know, I'm dreading it. I love this, dreading the uh, actual marketing work that I have to do after this. So. It is about that time. It is a time that we come into expireddomains.net, expireddomains.net, where we look through some domain names. Today, though, we're going to go and we're going to take a detour. So one of the things we don't look at, like, probably ever, I don't know if I've really mentioned it much other than in passing, uh, well, domain names go through this entire process where... Uh, you register a domain name, you have that dream, you're like, boom, you go register a domain name. Maybe you were lucky enough for it to be available. And then you take that domain name, uh, you hopefully develop it, but if you don't, it stays until it expires. And then it goes into a pending delete status. Uh, that's where only you can renew it. And then eventually that domain name comes to be deleted. What happens when that domain name is deleted? Well, when that domain name actually gets to that point that the domain name is deleted, there are numerous services out there that go to work as quickly as possible trying to register that domain name. They're trying to pick up the drop. They're trying to catch the drop. Catching the drop is something that numerous services out there have done to make quite a bit of money 
We're going to be talking about one of them because one of the best domain names I saw, uh, one of the best domain names I, I saw looking uh, at the domain names available this week was, in fact, over on a site called Dropcatch, which let me pull this up right now. So this is dropcatch.com. This is one of the websites that you can do a back order on. And if they catch it, as many of these domain uh, drop catch services do, if they manage to catch the domain name, that domain name then goes to auction. Uh, well, if you're the only one, let me kind of specify this, this is important. If you're the only one to back order that domain name, you win. It's your domain name. And the reason why I'm doing this show is just this last week was one of the first times actually a back order domain name. Instantly, I won the domain name. So it kind of is like, hey, you know, maybe this is a thing. Let me let me go chat about this during the show. So, so Dropcatch here is one of the services that a lot of people use, and it also is the home of our top domain name, uh, this one right here, which you can bid on this domain name. You'll find right now over on uh, Dropcatch.com, Reactive.com. It's already went up over four thousand. I'm sorry, yeah, over four thousand dollars since I uh, put this up on the screen earlier this morning. And you'll see reactive.com, $4,000 or $40,000, $40, not $4,000. This is a big timer. Reactive.com, over $40,000. Uh, Jason, Jason, anyhow, we, we, I'm pretty sure we know who this is. Uh, those in the domain community, over $40,000. Is it worth it? I don't know, but you can see this is how it works. Many other people put this on a back order. It goes into auction, and now anyone can come in and do a bid on this. I find domain names over on Dropcatch actually go for more than a GoDaddy auction would, for example, uh, mostly because the only people that know about Dropcatch are domainers. So there are people that know how good these domains are and the result is they go for more uh, than what you would other auction houses. But here's the crazy thing about what's happening in most cases with this. This domain name, they had that service that was running in the background, and it they happened to, in the millisecond that the domain name became available, they got it. And now they're printing over $40,000, which is just uh, crazy. So... Let's look at Reactive a little bit. Uh, Reactive, we're just going to go over to SpyFu. I actually already have it up. So Reactive, uh, I, you know, you, you see a $40,000 domain name and you're kind of like, hey, like, let's see, I'm sure it's worth it. Uh, you, well, if I was somebody on the outside, I would say, hey, certainly it's worth it. Somebody's paying over $40,000 over on the auction. Looking at the data here, though, this is getting a huge bid because it is a uh, it's a one di one word dictionary word. Uh, we routinely see the right kind of dictionary word domains go for six figures or more. Is Reactive one of those? Maybe, maybe I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I know Active would easily be uh, a really high priced domain name. Is Reactive? Tough to say. Uh, I was able to spell it correctly, so that's a, a positive. Uh, 9,800 uh, monthly searches for the domain name. And if we do the control F, again, I could spell it. Seems to be pretty good. Uh, reactive attachment disorder, or RAD, uh, as you may know it if you've ever dealt with uh, that. Um, my wife and I were foster parents for uh, geez, nearly 10 years, and we dealt with a lot of kids, and many of the kids that come to the foster system end up with reactive uh, attachment disorder, which is the only reason I know that. Hopefully you don't know what it is. Uh, it is often due to uh, kids being neglected when they're younger, but that's the main keyword. Reactive attachment disorder, reactive.com, uh, not going to be something you're going to want to target with that. Uh, C reactive protein reactive right like anybody I, I don't see any money words here I, there's really not much happening here with it uh, scrolling down 
cost per click, 31 cents, advertiser zero. So what we're pretty much looking at with this domain name is a domain name that somebody is gonna buy for the sake of branding, right? And we talk about brandable domain names pretty pretty frequently, almost more in passive than, passing than anything else. Uh, let me show you if it actually shows up. I don't know if it will. Yes, it does. I actually, believe it or not, I don't even know where this image is coming from right now, but I'm glad it is. So when we talk about uh, brandable domains, we're talking about that building that's over there on top of the domain. That gray, that gray box is the domain name, it's the foundation, it's everything below it, everything in the gray box is below the surface. A brandable domain name is what you build on top. You can build anything you want to on any domain name out there. People often ask me, Drew, hey, what about .xyz, .io, .whatever you want to have as an extension? And the answer is the same. Hey, you can build anything you want on any domain name out there. This is a brandable, and it is the .com, which is, if you're going to do a brandable, make sure it's at least have the .com, otherwise, okay. So there you go. That's why we looked at Reactive. I think a $40,000 uh, domain name is worth looking at. What would I value it at? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't go up that high for this domain name. But that's me. I look to develop. What would you put on the domain name? What, what business would you put? Put on your domain development hat. If you were to build a business strictly from the idea of, hey, I have the domain name. What am I going to put on it? reactive.com I don't know I don't know but somebody out there is certainly going to call, come up with a brand or a product or service for it and there you go okay well let's head over to expireddomains.net we're going to look at how to get into deleted domain names uh, which right here expireddomains.net we're going to click on deleted domains uh, and then we're going to click on deleted domains Makes sense, right? And I think, actually, we're gonna go to p uh, pending delete. I'm sorry, jeesh. Like, this is, this is, this is new, right? I'm, I'm a rookie at this, to be quite honest. I don't deal with pending delete uh, very often. Most of the time, I just count on getting them at auction. Uh, I let the, I assume, probably incorrectly, that the best domain names are gonna go through an auction, uh, which is typically the case, but marketplace domains, pending delete. Now we have to filter these bad boys. As you can see, actually, let me just uh, get rid of the filters for one second. And you can just see the garbage that's showing up here without filters. This is why the filters are so necessary, unless you want to, uh, oh, there's all kinds of, uh, it's nasty, folks. It's really nasty. That is why we need the filter. So we're gonna go no numbers, no hyphens. This is the first time in a while that we've shown this. So. Uh, if you've never seen us do the, the filters, we get rid of hyphens, get rid of numbers. We go to English words. I only want to see English words one to three. We could actually probably take it down even more because it's deleted, but I'm not going to. And right now, let me change my screen size. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So what we want to also do is look at, I want to look at domain names at end of the next eight days mostly because I don't want to look past next Monday. If we want to do this again next Monday, we'll do it again next Monday. Then we will finally come over to that additional tab. Did that show up when I did it? Uh, which is right up here, click on additional. And then we are clicking on .com. So there we go, top level domain .com. Then we save our filters. And we take a look at this, 2.8 million domains down to One hundred and thirty-five thousand domain names. Uh, one of the things you might be wondering is, does this include GoDaddy domain names, the ones that we see often, week after week here on the the show? And the answer is yes. Those GoDaddy domain names also show up here. So just because it appears in this list, this is part of why we don't do this each week. Just because it shows up as a pending delete domain name does not mean a back. Towards the domain name. Uh, if the GoDaddy domain name, for example, that, that domain name is going to go to the GoDaddy auction. They don't just let it 
actually get it. They keep it themselves, put it through the auction process before they let, let that domain name go. So that's important. I think that's an important thing to know. So now we have this big old list. I'll go small for a moment. We have this big old list with all this data, all these domains, 135,000 domain names, and the question is, how do we order them? What do we want to see? If you try to go through this, I imagine, oh, here we go, 676 pages of domain names is what we have there. That, like, that's madness. 676 pages, 200 on a page. Uh, you'll be at this for a long time. And one of the things that you'll notice is missing is we are missing the uh, appraisal value, that valuation that GoDaddy does for us that often shows up when we are up here in the GoDaddy expired auctions. So we have to have something else to order by. So typically what I will order by, I will start by looking through these registrations. So REG, that is the, in fact, does that show up? Yes, it does. Uh, that is looking at the number of, and I just clicked it again. There you go. Uh, so that is looking at the number of registrations uh, of the different domain names. So the idea being, yes, we're looking at .com domains, but what if, uh, what if we are looking at, uh, so we're looking at the .com, how many other extensions is this domain name registered in? .net, .org, .info, you, you know probably how many of them are out there. There's a lot of them. And in this case, this top one is registered in 121 other extensions. So that means, yes, the .com's coming available for deletion, uh, and there's 121 other extensions that this domain name is registered in. That's a pretty good indication that the words before the extension matter, right? Does that, does that make sense? That's the logic that we're going with here. Uh, and I tend to agree, look at this right here, Pure. so this is ordered by the ones with the most registrations of other extensions are on top. PureLife.com, certainly worth uh, adding to the list. Uh, now, one of the things you'll know with this is you can't click on one of these. If you click on this, it's gonna say de domain details. You can go to catched.com. I've not used them for back orders. I don't know if anybody else has. Feel free to call it out in the chat if you have. I don't usually do back orders. Uh, I use, well, I use drop catch. You can use drop catch, although it's a secondary one. I don't like to use drop catch. Uh, I typically will use, I will use drop catch, especially if I want to get it. But realistically, if you use drop catch, most likely it's on a domain name that other people are already back ordering, if that makes sense. But certainly do it wherever you want it. Do it everywhere, in fact. Because the way the back orders work is when you do a back order, you have to agree to pay if you get the domain name. So you're usually paying 60 to $80 for that back order, but you actually only pay that if that domain name is, if you get it, if you win it. So just do it on domain names that you're willing to pay 60, $70, $80 on. And in that case, back order it everywhere. So what are some of the back order services? There is pool.com, like, Swim, swimming pool. <laughs> there's pool.com, there's dropcatch.com, uh, and then one that I use a lot of times is snapnames.com. Each of them, each of these different services, at the time that delete that domains are being deleted, they all have servers running at trying to trying to register that domain name. So in reality, do it everywhere, right? All it's going to do is mean there's more servers trying to get the domain name for you. Uh, don't try to like pick your favorite. I'd say go with all of them. Okay, so there you go. We mentioned dropcatch.com. That's one of the places you can back order, as well as snapnames.com, uh, which I'll show you snapnames actually. Let's, let's go look at snapnames. So this domain name right on top, purelife.com, uh, which I believe is a water company. I believe that is, uh, let's, let's do a search for it. Sounds like a brandable. Uh, yeah, you can see here, Nestle, Pure Life Water, uh, Pure Living Life. It, everything's pretty much about the water. Um, 
80 cents pay-per-click, no advertisers. My guess is because this is going to be a trademark domain name. Are you able to see that over there? Did I go? Yeah, there you go. Right over my shoulder there. Uh, so you're going to be messing with somebody's trademark or brand, you know, on this one. But it's a pretty good domain name if you can avoid the trademark. Not sure if you can. I don't care to sell water. Uh, there's lots of other angles to go with your life. Um, uh, but it, when you want to register for a domain name or do a back order, you basically can go over to Snap Names. What is it? PureLife.com. And this is why I use Snap Names. You can do the back order at any point or at, at any point. And you'll see right at this top one. I typed it in PureLife.com and uh, <laughs> my finger disappeared on <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, but once you type it in, it's going to pull up that domain name, and you can add it to the cart, and you can put a back order on it, and that order will stay there forever. So whether the domain name expires, you try to get it now, maybe you don't. In a year from now, when it possibly expires again, you will still have that back order for it unless you delete it. I have a giant list of hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of domain names that are all backordered with snap names. Uh, in most cases, they would be silly to let the domain name expire. But here's one of the beauties of snap names, and this is one of the few, like, uh, they're an older website, but one of the things they do well is, with these backorders, they will send me alerts to say, hey, this backorder domain name's uh, coming, it, it's potentially gonna expire, it's potentially gonna show up for auction, and that's, that's something that's really, really valuable to me because uh, if I add it to this back list, uh, this back, uh, back order uh, list, it's nice to get that prompt to know that you may have some auctions coming up or that these domain names, for example, if you were really excited about Pure Life, you added that Snap Names. Now Snap Names alerts you and sends you an email saying, hey, purelife.com may be expiring. That is your cue to go in and, and register it everywhere else, right? You want to set up all these other drop areas to try to work on the servers to get it. So I usually use snap names uh, as my primary back order. And then if it's something I really want to make sure I get, then I go around and do back orders everywhere else. Make sense? Reasonable strategy. Uh, purelife.com, we typed into spy, spy Fu, not digging it, but there you go. It's a pretty good domain name. Uh, so we're going to go down through this list a little bit more. Uh, we are ordered by the registration, and we'll see if we can pick up anything else. Now, again, we're looking through domain names that are pending delete. These domain names are going to be potentially uh, re, uh, restarted again or possibly available again. So I'm just zooming out just enough to be able to see. Uh, if it's a drop catch, for example, we know that that domain name is going to go to drop catch. No reason to bother uh, with, you know, you just go to drop catch for that one. Uh, same if you see GoDaddy, just go to the GoDaddy auction, putting a back order. To my knowledge, if, if I'm mistaken, somebody can call me out on it. Water tools, Manage Pro, yeah, not really a big fan of those, but I mean, they're not bad domain names. Last but ride for fun, maybe, maybe not. So you might wonder, like, what are your chances of getting this domain name uh, if you do a back order? Uh, it's going to depend on where the domain name was. That will determine quite a bit. Some of these are going to be more likely to grab than others. Uh, but to be quite honest, your odds are very, very low. It's very, very low that you're going to have it. If it's a, if it's a great domain. So, for example, that purelife.com domain, there's probably going to be numerous people trying to get that domain name, and the chances that you're the one that gets it uh, is going to be slim. Most likely, it's going to be picked up by somebody that's going to put it up at auction really, really quickly. So just know that that's the case. We do the – these are – this is especially good for – uh, domain names that maybe are under the radar for most. So, in fact, I got a back order for a couple different towing related domain names. And I was like, oh, that's deleting soon. I'll, I'll go ahead and add that to my back order. Another, another one I added, elevatormusic.com. I, 
thought it was fun. We had an added it uh, just before the show. Uh, let's go ahead and type that in. Let's let's look at that. What's what's the business idea for Elevator Music? Uh, I think there's a lot you can actually do with ElevatorMusic.com. But let's see if anybody's searching for it. I did not do this, so this is the first time I've done this. Elevator Music, there you go. 26,300 searches for Elevator Music. I wonder how many searches for Elevator Music happen while people are in the elevator. Okay, this is actually what I was thinking of with this one. And yes, I crack myself up. I think that's uh, funny. Okay. Uh, so royalty-free elevator music. I, I think that that's like doing something to where people are, um, you know, it's just when you give elevator music, I think of what the used to be a brand like Muzak or something like that. Uh, and that's kind of what they, uh, what I'm thinking is, you know, it's just music you can put on and loop on your hold music or whatever else. Uh, cost per click, 198, but there's no L, no advertisers. So there you go. Not really. Uh, I, I still like the domain name. Certainly worth. Uh, if this was at auction, if this gets picked up by Dropcatch or something, I would be interested in this domain name uh, for probably me. Twelve hundred dollars or so, mostly just because I don't know initially what I would put on it. I'm not going to put music on it. However, because we run DJs.com uh, and Discjockey, Discjockey.com, anyhow, what DJs.com, uh, I could see that maybe DJs or music creators possibly want to be able to put out something on elevator music. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So it, it's worth it a little bit. So that one again, that's that's just dropping like that. That is uh, coming up. You can actually, if you scroll out on it, it's going to get really small behind me. Uh, Ten twenty six is when that one is going to go through the drop process. So yeah, there we go. Repo Seto. And we will go over to, uh, so right now we're looking through pending deleted domains. Uh, these are domain names that are going to uh, be deleted. And we're trying to look at for domain names that maybe we we'll put through uh, a background, tell, tell the servers to grab it for us. It's going to get us a simple computer, maybe. And we need a board or something like that. Near swap, peachy NFT. How we be? I, I saw some other ones. I'm, I'm hoping they pop up here. Ah, I know what it is. Maybe I was looking under. Let me go one more page down. Then I'm going to go back up to the top. Let's see. And as usual, uh, if you see one that shows up on the screen, uh, feel free to. Uh, yell it out in the chat. Well, don't yell. Caps are bad. Uh, and also, just so you know, a lot of times domain names don't work in the chat, uh, so you have to kind of space it out or add a add a hashtag. Uh, to basically, you have to hack it a little bit to get past uh, YouTube's filters. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm ordering by cost per click. So remember, when we don't have that appraisal value, we need to come up with a way for these domain names. That we're Going to be page after page after page of expiring or depending on the names, uh, and that's a really efficient way to look to 135,000 domains. We looked at registrations, bringing the ones with the most registrations to the top, and now we are looking at CPC. We went into uh, to the settings in expireddomains.net. You can go to column manager, then under Google Ads, you can add. Uh, CPC or Google Ads to the uh, filters, and now we're just ordering by it. And this is the cost per click that is entered in to Google, and in most cases, it's completely garbage. Like it's not an actual, it, think of it almost like appraisal. It's less about uh, being accurate and more about bringing good domain names to the top. 
Uh, if you buy it based on, ooh, I'm gonna buy this domain name and make $500 per click, you're gonna be really, really upset uh, because it's gonna be a waste of your money. However, what it does do is bring keyword sets and domain names to the top of the list that may or may not be better than others. Uh, Facebook Business Manager, lots of people search for that. Of course, you're gonna get sued if you get that domain name. Probably like the last person, which is probably why it's pending delete. Roundup Lawsuit Attorney. Uh, a lot of those attorney ones are, are pretty. Online Marketing Law? Doesn't seem too bad. Online, I don't like the word online, but online kind of maybe makes sense here. Let's space this out. Online Marketing Law. I'm kind of curious, I'm scared to ask this, but is audio okay? If we, like I'm on a wired connection, we've made, I've made some upgrades and changes uh, in hopes that audio is better this time. Uh, so uh, now that I see Domain Name Explorer come in, I think Domain Name Explorer is the one that kind of is quick to let me know about audio issues, which I appreciate by the way. I, I like the, the feedback. Online marketing law firm. Uh, that's kind of the, the area I was looking at. Um, no money being spent for it. So that this is the exact what I was talking about. Uh, it says here people are paying $53. Lies. Lies. Uh, but it could be a reasonable domain. Adobe stuff. Higher camping. So you'll see with this, uh, if you're ordering by, ah, uh, Stricker Mule. Sticker Mule is a, a company we do some stickers with occasionally. So it's kind of funny, the, like the typo that they have there. Uh, so you'll see with this a lot of times, uh, three word sets are the domain names you see here. I would probably, if I was, if I had more time and wanted to spend more time on this, I would go change my filter uh, to only look at two word sets instead of three, uh, which would probably give us a better chance at fast domains. Because realistically, once you add in that third world, uh, the, the, it just gets too, you get all these garbage domains. Good bankruptcy attorneys. You know, let's look that one up. I could see that, I can see we live in a world where that would probably be something people search for. Again, copying, pasting, removing the dot com, and just looking at those words in the keyword tool. Um, people are indeed searching for it, but not many. I just did a control F on it uh, to highlight the times that good bankruptcy attorney appears. Oh, it is plural, good bankruptcy attorneys. And it does appear that uh, we, we have localization, which you know I love my near me at the after my keyword. The only thing is it's only 40. So um, $45 per click is what we show here. But again, nobody's paying to advertise. So what would you do with this domain name? I could see this one being a good one to develop out though. So let's say you are at home right now and you're like, hey, I want to get at $100 or less for a domain name and I want to make my money back as quickly as possible with some simple development. Goodbankruptcyattorneys.com and you just try to find a few bankruptcy attorneys willing to pay you a few hundred bucks per year to be featured as a good bankruptcy attorney on goodbankruptcyattorneys.com. You know, once you add in that third word, it becomes, uh, I don't know, I don't like third words a lot of times. You'll hear me, I, I, a lot of times I prefer one or two words. What word could you add to bankruptcy attorney that would actually make it better? I don't know, good bankruptcy attorney. Bankruptcy attorneys, bankruptcy I don't know. I think good bankruptcy attorney is probably the, uh, it's the best third word I can think of being added to the phrase. 
Because I don't even think you, people are going to search for great bankruptcy attorney. I mean, maybe they would. I don't know. We can go look, but I'm not going to. Enough bankruptcy. This conversation's bankrupt. Let's move on. Term business loan, top of discount. I much prefer looking through expired domains. Because realistically, what we're looking through right now is we're looking through domain names that we have a chance to back order in hopes that we could possibly have a chance of purchasing, which that is not nearly as much fun as looking through expired domains and being like, boom, we're going to get this. Okay. So on that, oh, here we go. Remote dialer. That was another one I put uh, out there. I don't know if that's an actual thing. Remote dialer. Let's go check. So, uh, but with the attorney one, you do a little basic directory. Keep it simple, uh, and you can manually do it or build out a database that looks at remote. Control F, using remote dialer law aspects, uh, remote dialer tablet to mobile. Uh, so there are people searching for it. It's actually a lot smaller than what I thought. Oh, whoa, here we go. Okay, so there may not be a lot of people searching for it, uh, but there are 17 advertisers uh, paying $2 per click. So this is one of those cases where what's happening at the top of the screen over here maybe doesn't matter as much as the money side of it. There's people competing. We got double digit advertisers. That means there's blood in the water. Even though there's less searches for a remote dialer, People want to reach it, and probably a lot of people have software products out there, and they're wanting to reach it. So there you go. Lawyers may not use the good part. Lawyers may not use. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lawyers probably don't want to. Uh, yeah, lawyers won't say the good part. Uh, you just have to convince them. Let me put that up on the screen. Are you saying that lawyers are not allowed to use the good part? Well, that, I wonder, can they advertise on a website? That's kind of the question. So that they may not be able to use good bankruptcy lawyer, uh, but they can advertise on maybe a service. I, I don't know. Is that a loophole? I, I'm not a lawyer. You, uh, you may want to test that. You may want to call them up and say, hey, if I do this, if I build this, will you do this? That's kind of the way to... And then once you get a couple lawyers that say, nope, not allowed to do that, it's illegal in my state, then, then you know not to buy the domain name. Okay. So we were looking up just briefly at Remote Dialer. Could be a fun little project, except for there is blood in the water, meaning there's a lot of competition for those $2 clicks. The volume, though, is pretty low. But, hey, do a directory, one-page site that shows, like, here's five different Remote Dialer uh, solutions and have them pay some amount of money to be listed on it. And hey, if you get this domain name for 80 bucks, you put up, especially if it's an automated uh, feature on your website to, to add their company, voila, that seems like a pretty good place to go. Let's go to the bread and butter though. Uh, the, you know this, uh, so that's the drop. That's the drop. Those are de pending delete domain names. Now I wanna get over to our friends over at GoDaddy. Actually, yeah, sure, friends. <laughs> friends, sure, why not? Uh, but let's go over to GoDaddy. Um, I guess we can consider them friends. I like a couple people over there. Uh, but mostly I just like the fact that they pull a lot of domain names in uh, and allow us to search them. So they provide service. We pay for service. Voila. At the GoDaddy domains uh, today, I just I wasn't really feeling that. I didn't see a whole lot happening here. I'm curious if you will agree. Did you? Would do you see some good domain names here? Let's find out. So the word.com was the top one. Uh, valuation eighteen thousand, already up over four thousand uh, dollars for the word.com. I'm guessing a Bible website would be about the only thing I could imagine going on it. Otherwise, if it's not the word. What would you put on the, the, the website? I Okay, so I'm passing that one. Fructify. Teen Driver. A lot of, lot of not great domains. GoDaddy appraises them as valuable. Um, 
they sound good in some cases, like clear marketing, that sounds good. Maybe a brainable domain. Smart experts, that sounds good. Maybe a brainable domain. Wedding warehouse, sounds good. Maybe a brainable domain, but not something. Uh, even biz idea, like I, business idea would be one thing. Biz idea, it's good. That one is not bizidea.com. That is bizidea.com biz with a z idea.com like that you'd have to say it every single time and for that reason i'm out shark tank lee you joined us on a uh, a slow week man now we're coming up on a bunch of enom domains which we're going to skip right over because you know me i don't really like the enom domains. Enom domains being this uh, right behind my head here. Uh, we look for the ones that are GoDaddy. Uh, enom a lot of times don't actually complete the, uh, they don't complete the auction process. Fun social, better than an annoying social, social reader. Look at this, see this, what it is. Feel free to ask any questions, I'll go off on tangents. I, I, this is this is a fun one that we noticed hotpocket.com you know it's it's like it looks like it's hot but you bite into it and it's like ice cold and you're kind of like eh, that wasn't as good as what I thought or you bite into it and you burn your freaking face off hot pocket anyhow that's a trademark domain that's why I'm skipping over it it sounds good but uh, unless you want to I don't know who makes hot pockets but I think they're the buyer for that. Cannabis search. Cannabis search. Cannabis search. I don't know. Maybe. They're all, these are all almost domains. And almost domain names are no domains. It sucks when you get a day like today or a week like this week and you want to find a good domain, right? Like, Maybe you have money sitting in the bank. You're like, I got to spend this money on a domain name, but they suck today. And you're like, you lower your standards and you're like, oh, I'll go ahead and buy this weaker domain and don't do that. Like that's there. We know there's better domains that are around the corner. Furniture move. Furniture movers would be great. Furniture mover, but not furniture move. I'm kind of desperate here, so I'm going to go test. I'm going to go click on it. I'm going to type it into SpyFu, uh, mostly because for the love of goodness, I sure would like to have a domain name to talk about. This is not the domain. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, there's, there's some. FurnitureMove.com, moving furniture. I want to control F to see if I'm missing anything. Nope, it's kind of what I expected to see. There are searches for it, but in most cases, people that are searching for furniture move, there's better keywords out there. They, 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 who knows why they search for furniture move? I have no idea. Uh, 10 advertisers, cost per click is zero, which I find hard to believe. That seems more like an error. Uh, going to go over to Google. Let's see if there's actually... So there's definitely advertisers here. They're paying something. I could tell you from experience, moving related domain names are typically, uh, they're numerous dollars per click. Uh, I will also say one of the downsides of moving on Google is you see these boxes up here. This is moving is one of those experimental uh, categories on Google where uh, Google is diving into small businesses uh, in they take more money from moving companies than anybody else. It just, yeah. Anyhow, furniture movers and pull this up here. Rigo runs true movers and is a fan of the shows. Right. Yeah, well, I'm okay. I'm seeing good stuff. People are liking it. So there you go. FurnitureMove.com ends tomorrow. Uh, and uh, $22. As the guy that overpaid for uh, movingcompany.com, 
I'm not all that interested in furniture move, but uh, you know, not bad. Glad that somebody is. Somebody out there, somebody get it, develop it. I mean, 17 advertiser, can't go wrong with that. Now, I will share with you that, uh, you know, it's a, se- a lot of times it's seasonal and everything else. Like, I I used to love the moving industry, but it's just a little bit on the, I'm a little down on the moving industry anymore. Property foreclosures, that's an enom one. Uh, that's worth adding to your watch list, and maybe it, if it actually goes through, then it's a good one. We shop local. Shop local I like. I shop local. I'm a, maybe I like we. Eh, okay, moving on. See, I told you, folks, like this is, uh, we're, we're really struggling. The struggle is real today. If I wanted to do a four-hour show, today is not the day to do it. Today's the day to go with a 40-minute show, <laughs> although it's too late for that. Show performance, design drawing, back to track. Wait, please. You pain me. You know, and here's the thing. I will say uh, there's good domain names out here, right? We're looking at uh, there's 95,000 domain names. Basically what it means are little tricks where we pull the best ones up to the top. Uh, they're not working. But now that I go to page two, uh, like we should almost skip to lower down the list. Uh, but I'm not going to. But I like this, this one. This one could be something reasonable. Best carpet cleaner. I'm guessing that's some search volume. 8,900 searches for best carpet cleaner. Uh, let's do a control F best carpet cleaner. Oh, that's what we like to see. Okay. Okay, see, it took us all the way to page two to get to a domain name that's worth a damn. Uh, I, it's three words, not a huge fan of that, but it has the search volume. So people searching for best carpet cleaner makes sense. This is just like the good bankruptcy attorney. Uh, just like I, I don't think, I mean, maybe best bankruptcy attorney, maybe. But in this case, best seems like the best word to add to the front of it. Good carpet cleaner doesn't. And like, who wants a good carpet cleaner? Uh, you want the best carpet cleaner. Plus, we also see best carpet cleaner solution, good content, best carpet cleaner for pets, best carpet cleaners near me, meaning we get to see the near me tag, which people are looking for localization. And all of these are four digits. So 1,000 each, that is a good thing. 8,900 for the exact keyword. And we're scrolling down 10 advertisers, $1.39 per click. The only thing we're missing on this domain name is we're not seeing $2 per click or more. But that's still pretty good numbers. This one is definitely worth adding to the list. Now, the one thing I will mention is it is a name.com domain name. That likely will mean it you know, that just increases the chances that it will not uh, go through the auction. But I'm going to add that to my watch list. I'm not a big fan of three-word domains like that. But on a day like today, maybe. Maybe it'll get a bid. I mean, for the love of goodness, when do we see the numbers like this? We don't see 8,900 very often. Um, I would love to own carpetcleaner.com. Here you go. With everybody, write it live. Let's go see who owns carpetcleaner.com. Okay, so it's going to developed out middle of the road looking domain. Yeah. Anyhow, I'd love to own that domain name. That would be a pretty thing to own to share with the industries. Moving on. Nice that we actually have the main name to find out. I like a an acre here. I like uh, they like domains. I like how 
cheap they usually go for. Like that. Is that, is that, is that why you like them so much? Is usually buy them to less. You can also target that keyword more. more. You can target that keyword, a three word keyword. Uh, if you're to target, it's easier to rank well for a three word keyword. Um, the only thing is, is it's also usually corners you in, in my opinion. But I'm kind of curious, like, hey, you like them? Is it because of the price? That is the that's the thing. Which I like them because of the price. If I had to say why I would like them, usually get them for a reasonable price. I mean, in that case, let's go look at that real quick. Best carpet cleaner, three words, eighty nine hundred. Uh, and we had 10 advertisers. I would probably weigh that one. Man, I have trouble pricing these. I don't know how I would price a three word. If it was two word or less, I would say it's probably a $9,000 domain name because it adds that third word and it's not specific. So uh, we have carpet cleaner. In that case, like if this was carpet cleaner, Easily, I would be paying that or the premium, even based on the data. Adding the word best is that's such a, a subjective word that all you're doing is taking advantage of the keyword data. Like all you're doing, like it just doesn't doesn't hit home as well as what I do other ones. So, but yeah, yeah, you, you're adding um, add this in. Uh, affordable and easy to remember phrases. And I agree, that is, this is a word, it's search for it, it's easy, and uh, it sounds good. Like, if you were like, hey, we're featured on bestcarpetcleaner.com, that sounds freaking great, right? You go back to over there, or over there, like the authority and validation of that, you were adding that to that company. It's like, you're suddenly, oh, we're featured on bestcarpetcleaner.com, that means that we're worth something. There you go. Like that, we like that. Like as a marketer, we want that kind of uh, that kind of vibe to our domain names. It's just where is the line? Is is kind of the question? Like three words, eh? It, like I could see that, but what if it was really good carpetcleaners.com? Like you know what I mean? Like it. Of course, that adds a fourth word, but it still. In theory, it has the same authority. Really good carpetcleaners.com. We're featured on it. At some point, it just falls apart. So is three the line? For me, three is the line. As you can see, I don't even filter. I filter three or less words. Buy miners. I think I own something like Bitcoin mining setups or something anyhow yeah, i think i bought it on this show just for the fun of it uh about a year ago i'm sure it was a waste of money <laughs> i have not anything with it and it is outside of normal business model yes three is her her, her line as well so that is the case with most people i'm trying to own a four or domain name. I'm just not all that excited about it. Okay, well, I'm just going to stop the bleeding as of that point. So we've looked at some domain names. Uh, we looked at what is happening over on the, uh, you know, dropcatch.com, pool.com, which I didn't actually show you, uh, but pool.com is one of the back order services. I've never got anything through them, but I know they have a great domain name, so <laughs> that's probably a good thing. Uh, like I said, I use Snap Names, but if Snap Names alerts me that a domain name is likely going to be dropping soon, I will go and get it everywhere if I want that domain name. Uh, otherwise, I'll just let Snap Names take my chances. And uh, so once those domain names go pinning delete, good luck on the back order. Hopefully, you get what you're looking for. Uh, so we've looked at a bunch of domain names today, uh, one of which we have Reactive that is happening over on dropcatch.com. Uh, up over forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand five hundred dollars uh, is, and I'm, I thought it was up behind me, but it is not. Forty thousand happening for Reactive.com. 
Then we also looked at furnituremove.com. $22 currently. You're, of course, going to wait and wait till the last five minutes to bid on that one. Uh, seemed like the chat was a fan of furnituremove.com, which is not bad. Not, I mean, it's a good domain name, just a little bit of a hard industry, in my opinion. We shop local. I skipped over that one. Uh, bestcarpetcleaner.com. That was one of the better domain names that we found uh, today on uh, our day of uh, kind of weaker domain names. So, yeah, it happens. It happens. So on that note, I think we are going to uh, call, call it a quits. Call it quits. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. If there is anything of value, like it too. I don't know. I think I like hanging out here with you. That's good enough for me. Uh, but I would have liked to have had more domain names. Can't win them all. So, well, until next Monday when we get back together to talk about expiring domain names, I hope that you find some great domain names uh, and join us in the community. Community.dtp.tv is the community address. Uh, you can join us there. I have announced, I, I think I mentioned it, I'm going to end up getting rid of that community website. I want to replace it with something else. That, that one I'm just not a huge fan of. Uh, so we'll see what's going to happen. I'm, I, I, wanna, I want a place to go, but I also want it to service well. And to be quite honest, I, I, that one's confusing to me. So, okay. Well, I appreciate you joining me. I'm Drew Wash. This is Domain to Profit. I will see you next week, 3 p.m. for Domain to Profit.